Hey there friends, happy spring. It is so nice that we're finally having some really nice weather. And I don't know about you, but I've started to see some birds and I've started to see some squirrels and I've started to see some bugs. I thought that we might read one of my very favorite stories. And I love this book because it is a beautiful, I love this book because the illustrations or the pictures are gorgeous. They're so beautiful and very, very detailed. And the other reason I love this book is that you can read it tons of times and learn something new every single time. This book is called A Butterfly is Patient. The author is Diana Hutz Aston, and the illustrator is Sylvia Long. Let's find out what we can learn about butterflies. This is the inside of the book. It has so many different kinds of caterpillars. There are some that I recognize. This is a monarch caterpillar, and um, there's another one. The orange oak leaf caterpillar. I've seen the common Mormon caterpillar, and this common buckeye down here but then there are some I've never seen before, like the common birdwing, or the common posy, or a peacock caterpillar. It's fascinating. A butterfly is patient. Another reason I love this book is because every single page has a caption. And remember, a caption are little words next to pictures that teach us more about the pictures. So this caption says a spotted flittiary, and that's what kind of chrysalis this is, what kind of butterfly he will turn into be. A butterfly is patient. It begins as an egg beneath an umbrella of leaves, protected from rain, hidden from creatures that might harm it, until the caterpillar inside chews free from its egg casing, tiny, wingless, hungry, and ready to grow. So this is just one type of egg and it is a great purple hair streak. So this egg will turn into a great purple hair streak butterfly. I have no idea what that looks like. A butterfly is creative. A caterpillar feeds on leaves eating so much that it must molt or shed its skin many times. It can grow up to 30 thousand times larger than it was when it took its first bite. So if you look at this picture, this down here is the egg, and this is the first instar, the first time he comes out of his egg. After 15 days, he gets bigger. 21 days, he gets bigger. 26 days, he's in a hanging J, ready to form the chrysalis. 26 days, he forms a chrysalis. 38 days, He's ready to leave his chrysalis, and there he is, newly emerged, and this is a common buckeye butterfly. Oh, I missed some. Once a caterpillar has eaten all that it needs, it creates a protective covering called a chrysalis. Curled inside the chrysalis, it grows wings. Now, it is time for metamorphosis. That means changing from one form to another. Let's say that word, that's a big one, metamorphosis. All right. A butterfly is helpful. Butterflies, like bees, help to pollinate plants so they can reproduce or make seeds. As a butterfly flits from flower to flower, sipping nectar, time itty bitty grains of pollen cling to its body, then fall away onto other flowers. Seeds are only produced when pollen is transferred between flowers of the same species. This is called pollination. Can you say that with me? Pollination. All right, and in this picture we have lots and lots of different butterflies. There are a couple that are labeled. There's an Eastern Tiger Swallowtail. We have those in Michigan and a zebra long wing. I don't know if we have those in Michigan. I would have to look. So butterflies are helpful. They are working insects. Very interesting. 
a butterfly is protective. Butterflies use their wings to protect themselves from predators. Predators are creatures that would eat them, such as hungry birds, lizards, and other insects. Some butterflies have markings on their wings called eye spots. They look kind of like eyes, don't they? Scientists don't know what they're used for, perhaps to scare away predators or attract mates. Wings can help butterflies camouflage or hide themselves in their environment. Ooh, that's a big word, camouflage. Can you say that with me? Camouflage. There are lots of other creatures that use camouflage too. Um, we have lots of different insects that use camouflage, turtles and some frogs and some uh, birds and even some bigger creatures like bunny rabbits and deer. One kind of butterfly, the peacock butterfly, makes a hissing sound by rubbing its wings together when it's alarmed. So you can see down here, there's a peacock butterfly and this is a praying mantis and praying mantises will eat butterflies. So he's rubbing his wings together to scare away the praying mantis. This is an owl butterfly, it says right there. And this looks like a leaf, but it's a butterfly. If you look closely, you can see his body and his antenna, and he's an orange oak leaf butterfly. A butterfly is poisonous. Poisonous is something that if you eat it, or not us, but if a bird or a predator were to eat it, it would make them sick. The warning colors of some butterflies' wings, yellows, reds, oranges, whites, and blacks, tell predators that they are poisonous or bad tasting. Monarchs and piper vine swallowtails eat poisonous plants as caterpillars, so that they become poisonous as adults. Birds and other insects have learned not to eat them. So that's how they keep themselves safe. Some butterflies use camouflage, they hide, and some become poisonous so that they don't seem as attractive or other animals don't want to eat them. So this is a piper vine swallowtail and this is a monarch. We have the monarch caterpillar and the butterfly. If you look on milkweed, which is a special plant, you will find some monarch caterpillars hiding under the leaves. A butterfly is spectacular! I agree, they are spectacular. They're beautiful and amazing. We have all sorts of different butterflies. I like this one, he's a blue morpho. This is a tail jay. We have a ruddy dagger wing. This is Anna's 88, and if you look closely, it looks like there are two number eights on its wing. Ooh. A butterfly is thirsty. To find flowers, butterflies smell the air with their antenna. That's what these things sticking out of their head are. They taste with their feet. Get out of town. Can you taste with your feet? Thumbs up if you can, thumbs down if you cannot. I certainly cannot. They taste with their feet, but they sip nectar with the sweet liquid produced by many flowers with a proboscis, which is also known as a tongue. And their proboscis is a big coil or swirl up by their face, and it can go out and in, kind of like a party blower. You blow in, it goes out, and then it comes back in. Some butterflies get their nourishment or their food from rotting fruit or minerals, often a kaleidoscope of butterflies, I think that's a group of butterflies, gathers at, as a puddle club in the mud near a pond or lake to drink water rich in salts and minerals. I don't know that I've ever seen that. I'm wondering if any of you have ever seen a group of butterflies sitting in the mud, drinking the mud. If you have, wiggle your fingers, if you have not, shake your head. Hmm. That's very interesting. I'll have to keep my eye out for that. I love this one. A butterfly is big. The rare Queen Alexandra's bird wing is the largest butterfly in the world with wings that can span up to one foot. That is very large. One foot is this big. 
that's very large. It lives in the rainforest in northern Papua New Guinea. But butterflies are also tiny. The smallest and rarely seen Aryan small blue found in Afghanistan with a wingspan of less than one third of an inch is about the length of a grain of rice. And I bet you can't see it, but I'm gonna hold the book up really closely. That's him. He's so small. He's like smaller than my pinky fingernail. Very, very tiny. A butterfly is scaly. If you look really closely at the wings of a butterfly, they're not just smooth. They are made up of little tiny scales, kind of like fish. A rainbow of shiny powdery scales cover the wings of a butterfly. Scales stacked like shingles on a roof. Without scales, the wings would be as transparent as the wings of a bee or a dragonfly. So you can see through the wings of a dragonfly or a bumblebee, but you can't see through the wings of a butterfly because butterflies have scales. The patterns and colors and shapes of a butterfly's wing have a purpose. Some use their pattern of colors to attract mates. That means to find um, a daddy or a mommy butterfly so they can have some new butterfly babies. Um, or in places where the climate is cool, the butterfly's darker scales absorb the heat from the sun, warming the butterfly so they can fly. Butterflies are cold-blooded and must have a body temperature of 86 degrees to fly. So being cold-blooded means that they don't make their own heat like we do. We, while we have to wear a jacket when we go outside, most of the time our body feels pretty good. But insects like the butterfly or there are other animals like frogs and turtles and lizards, they have to have a heat source to be able to live and to move. A butterfly is not a moth. Butterflies and moths belong to the same family of insects, the Lepidoptera, which means scale wing. They are the only insects with scaly wings, but there are lots of differences between them. Moths appeared on Earth between 100 and 190 million years ago. Butterflies only appeared 40 million years ago. So moths are much older than butterflies. The butterflies fly around during the day, almost all of them, while most moths fly at night. Moths spin a cocoon made of silk while a butterfly wraps itself in a chrysalis or an exoskeleton made from its own skin. So butterflies and moths look similar and they have similar traits. So they both have wings, they can both be colorful, they both go into a chrysalis or a cocoon to change from a caterpillar to their adult form, but they are not the same. A butterfly is a traveler. Most butterflies, such as the red admiral or the common buckeye, migrate a short distance to find a warmer place. But for some, like the monarch, they travel far. Although monarchs weigh only as much as a few rose petals, that's not very much, they can fly almost 3,000 miles from Canada all the way down to Mexico. That means they go across the entire United States. Glider pilots have reported seeing monarchs flying at the altitude of 11,000 feet. That's higher than some clouds. So to migrate means to travel. And when we say that animals migrate, they live one place in the summer and a different place in the winter. And they do it to follow warmth or food or safety. A butterfly is magical. Monarchs gather in huge numbers in the forests of central Mexico waiting for spring. Then they fly north to the milkweed plants in North America. You can find milkweed plants where we live. And then they lay their eggs. Now it's time for their metamorphosis to happen again. 
What does metamorphosis mean again? Oh right, to change. So they're changing from an egg to a caterpillar to a butterfly. A butterfly is patient. The egg hatches, the caterpillar emerges, feasting on leaves before it wraps itself into a warm and protective chrysalis, patiently waiting. To soar. And then on the back cover, we have all of the same pictures that we did at the beginning. These are all the caterpillars, but this is what they look like when they turn into butterflies. This is such a good reminder for me because I like to move really, 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 really fast. I like to go fast and I like to do things every single day that are brand new. But butterflies know that it's important to be patient. It is important to wait. They start off as an egg and then they turn into a caterpillar and they eat and eat and eat and grow. And then they do a hanging jay and they turn into a hanging chrysalis. And in their chrysalis, they wait and they wait and they wait for two whole weeks and they don't do anything at all on the outside. Everything is happening inside their chrysalis and you can't see any of it, but they are so patient. They know when it's time that they can break open out of their chrysalis and soar outside. And right now we are having to wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. But we know that if we are patient, we will have a chance to soar again, just like our friends, the butterflies. I hope my friends really enjoyed this story. I will see you guys again soon with another book.